the fish by it! There's actually too many fish in here. Oh, oh my god! Come here. No! This is the coolest thing I have ever seen. What is up VFP Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video, guys. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it today. I'm pumped out the wazoo for this video. Basically, we're here at a spot we found like a couple weeks ago and we caught some really cool fish. We're back today. We're gonna catch more. The spot is right behind us. It's this little tiny creek and I'm really proud of myself because this is like a spot that I found on my own. I didn't use no database. No one told me about it. Oh my God, it's low. Boy, it's freaking low today, boys. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, we'll figure it out. I mean, there's, okay. There's a deep pocket here where the water's pumping out. It doesn't, it's actually not that low. It just looks like there's a bunch of weeds and like algae or whatever. So, okay, I was planning on placing some fish traps here today, guys, and try to catch some more fish. Last time we were here, we caught a hill stream loach, which I had no clue what that was. You guys had to let me know what it was. I've never heard or seen that fish in my life before I caught it here. We caught that, we caught some green sword tails and some like blue platies. Oh my God, what are the, hold on, hold on. Oh dude, there's a lot of fish in here. Oh, babies, baby, baby, baby something, baby something. Where'd they go? Show yourself. Those look like the baby. Oh, there they are, there they are. I'm freaking out over fish like micro size. Okay, I feel like those could have been like the, the blue platies, like baby blue platies. Dude, I see a lot of fish concentrated right there. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. There's every, oh, okay. We're placing the trap there for sure. On my way out, last time I was here, I saw what looked like a tetra. Um, I don't think I've ever caught a tetra before, but I've like never even seen tetras before. And I swear that that looked like a tetra, like a red sort of tetra. So I have a feeling there's a lot more cool aquarium fish to discover in this creek. Here's what we got going on today, guys. We brought a fish tank with us. Oh my God, these people are probably like, what is this dude doing with a fish tank in a parking lot? Hey, they don't understand the fish life. This is the fish life, baby. Basically, I haven't told you, I haven't told you the plan yet. We're gonna do something we've done before on the channel you guys really like. So we have a fish tank. I think this is like a 15, 20 gallon tank. I think 20. We're gonna catch fish in this fish trap and we're gonna make a little ecosystem uh, out of the fish tank. We're gonna set the fish tank up down there and make it look all cool with some plants and rocks or whatever. And all the fish we catch, we're gonna put them into here so we can observe them. And I think it'd be really cool. So let's bring all this down here. We have dog food, or sorry, cat food is bait. There's my cat food meow mix. All right, let's get it guys. <laughs> Dude, look at this, this is perfect. It's like it was made for this. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, it's so beautiful. I think I should just leave this here 24 seven. Look at the width, bro. It fits perfectly. It's so sick. First though, let's just throw our fish trap in. We're already down here. The rain is coming for me right now. Oh, this is not good. This is daily here in Florida. Every afternoon, it just thunderstorm, thunderstorm. And it sucks because I can't film during the thunderstorms. All right, meow mix, not sponsored. Please sponsor me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're rocking and rolling now. Are you ready for this, guys? You've never seen a fish trap placed more perfect than this. Ready? One, two, three. Yes! Money! That is what we want. Now, I gotta go grab a bucket and we gotta fill this bad boy up. So when we catch these awesome fish, we can put them in here. I have a bucket! Dude, I swear I'm seeing like micro baby, baby aquarium fish. Oh my God, I wish you guys can see that. There's like micro fish everywhere. Dude, look at all the fish by our trap. Look at all the fish. Okay, I'm actually kind of freaking out right now, guys. I think this is perfect because all the fish in this creek are like concentrated right here because this is like the only deep spot. All right, guys, we have the fish tank filled up. Check it out, dude. Crystal clear water. This is the sickest thing I have ever seen. This is gonna be so cool. Look at that, you can see right through it. Now I'm gonna assume a lot of those fish are mosquito fish, um, mollies, you know, the more common fish. I mean, with the amount of fish right there and the potential in this canal, it's like a guarantee that we catch something cool. Like I'm the most excited I've ever been for a fish trap right now. When you see that many fish by your trap, it just gets you going, you know? Hopefully the storm passes quickly and I can come back later today and film the fish trap. Go down there guys, leave a like for some good luck. We're gonna see you in a couple hours when we check this fish trap. 
Okay guys, I'm going to just straight up check my fish right right now. It's been close to an hour. As you could tell, the storm over there, it looks like it's moving that way. Um, and I just don't want to take any chances and have that storm come here and just not stop raining. Because if it starts raining and lightning, I am not getting out of my truck. I hate lightning. Before we do that, actually, let's let's set up our tank. We want to make our new guests feel welcome. We want them to be happy in here. Let's start with this. What is this? It's a log. Oh, that's perfect. Wash it off. Get all the sand off. Oh, dude, we are. Oh, my God. They're going to love it in here. They're going to have so much fun, guys. Does it float or does it sink? It floats, of course. That's all right. We'll just leave it in there. It's It looks it looks money. That is money. I kind of want to get... Okay, hold on. I want to get some plants, like some big plants. What about these guys? Do these... Oh my gosh, this is so sick. Yo, I should get this for my ponds. That is perfect. That is money, you guys. Make them feel a little comfortable. If they get scared, they can go in there. Oh my God, he's riding the stick. <laughs> Did you see that? All right, guys, I'm going in. We're gonna get our fish trap. We're, this is history. You guys are watching history right now. This is the most fish ever caught. The most aquarium fish ever caught in a fish trap. Come on. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. There's actually too many fish in here. There's too many fish. Wait, do I, I think I need to dump them all in. I'm gonna dump it all in. Look at this. I'm just, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna dump in the whole trap, guys. I don't know how else to do this. Hopefully you can see this. We just caught like a thousand fish, bro. I see a freaking tetra. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Oh, Jesus. Hold on. What the heck is that? What? Oh, uh, what? That's a freaking crab. Bro, there's more. Come here. No. No. <laughs> there's another. <laughs> what the heck? Hold on. I need to throw these in a bucket. I'm getting so sidetracked. What just happened? I just caught three crabs in a canal. I, I'm gonna focus up. I'm gonna show you the fish tank. I don't have any words for what just went down. We literally caught the most fish I have ever seen caught. Look at this, guys. Uh, okay, we're gonna show you the tank right now. This is the coolest thing I have ever seen. And you guys, if you look closely, you're gonna see some really cool fish. I'm gonna try and point them out that right there. I don't know what kind of tetra that is, but I know for a fact that that is a tetra and that is what i've been seeing here that red fish look at that dude there's multiple in here oh my gosh i am freaking out just look how beautiful that red is also this is this is what i was telling you guys about all those fish are mostly mosquito fish i think that is mostly what we caught there's some other fish mixed in look at this there's a what is that oh i thought that was one of those stingrays that's a little placo down there we got so many fish hold on let me just go rapid look at this we got oh my god there's a catfish look at that look at that back there Right next to that crawfish. We caught crawfish and we caught a catfish right there. Not sure what kind of catfish that is. I don't know if that's like a, a aquarium catfish or what. It looks like a bullhead, baby bullhead. Um, what? Oh, ooh. oh my God, look at that tetra. Look at that guys. Hold on, hold on. Come closer, come closer. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. That one doesn't have any colors on it. That one's different, I think. I don't know if the red ones are like females or males or maybe, oh, there's another one. Look, look, look. I don't know if those are the same species or what's going on, but they look sick. Look at this. We caught some shrimp guys. Lots of crawfish, it looks like. Oh, one of those, one of those striped fish. Dude, there's too much to focus on. I can't focus right now. This is insane. I'm so happy. This is so cool. Look at the placos. This is what I love about the tank, dude. It, lo it looks so much cooler. You can really see the fish in action. What is that? What is that? That looks like a warm mouth. These striped fish right there are spotted tilapia. I'm trying to look closely. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at this. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Hold on, there's something right there in the back. Look, look, look. Oh, it's yellow. It's yellow. Okay, you guys have the work cut out for you today. That, that is a warm mouth. That is a freaking warm mouth. What? That is sick. Oh, there's a catfish. What's up, buddy? Little little recap on what we need identifying. I, I know these are tetras, but I need help identifying what kind they are. I don't, also the bland ones. Wait, I think we caught, dude, we caught a lot. Hold on, where's the bland ones at? I don't know. You guys gotta let me know. You gotta, gotta let me know if they're the same species, different species, what's going on. You guys are the fish experts. I know freaking nothing about tetras. I'm trying to get a good shot. There, There's one in the back. There's one right there. 
Look at that. They look, hold on. They look different. At, look, right there, right there, right there. Oh, he does have color. Oh, you guys saw that? When he came up to the, to the front, there was like blue and pink or something. There's some blue on him for sure. Okay, what else do we got? That, that weird green thing. I need help identifying that as well. That is beautiful. You guys have to let me know what kind of fish that is. We're keeping him for sure. He's going in the koi pond. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is so sick. We got a lot of shrimp too. Look at all these shrimp, dude. See, that's a cool thing about the tanks is like, you know, ca you catch so many fish in a fish trap usually, and you can never really get, get a good look at all of them unless you put them in a fish tank. Look at this. You can really see what you caught. Look at all these crawfish too. We caught so many little crawfish. Okay, what we're gonna do guys, um, I could just look at this all day. I don't know if I'm like, this is crazy. Look at the Playco. Oh, there's two Playcos. One right there, one right there. That's pretty sick. I'm getting so, dude, this is so cool. I'm like getting hypnotized by this. I could just stare at this all day. There's so much you guys need to tell me about in this video. I mean, I had no idea that there, you could catch crabs like this, like in a canal. Look at that. He's, he's got red claws. That's really pretty. Wait, can I keep these? Are these freshwater? Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, I should put them in a the tank. Oh my God, this is perfect. Look, he could sit on the log. Oh my gosh. There he is. Look at this. Oh, I actually wish this was like in my room permanently. This is so cool. Let me know what kind of crabs those are. Fiddler crabs. But I think they're fiddler crabs, but I thought fiddler crabs were like saltwater only. I'm going to be taking out all the really cool fish that I want to keep, like these tetras and that green fish up there. There he is. He sits at the top. That's like a top fish. That's really cool. So I'm going to have a real fun time trying to net out all the cool stuff and just try to avoid all these mosquito fish. We're gonna toss them in this bucket, then we're gonna bring them home, probably put them in the koi pond or something. So yeah, let's get started. Oh my God, I'm trying to catch these freaking, what are they called, tetras, and this crab just latched onto my net. All right, dude, you're going along for the ride. Look at these tetras, bro, they're fast. Holy crap, oh, I got one, I got one. Oh, wait, wait, they don't look so red now. He doesn't even look that red now. I guess he kind of does. All right, let's get you in the bucket. Have fun. You know what? You're going in the bucket too, because we're keeping you. We're keeping you too. Okay, we caught, we, there's at least four, because look, there's three more right here. See, look, look at the red on them. They're popping. They're popping out of the water. Let's see how many we caught. Dude, if I'm not mistaken, these things are like pretty expensive in, in pet stores. There we go. Oh, look at that net job, dude. I'm a freaking god. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see them in the koi pond. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to see these guys in the koi pond, but I'm sure they're gonna have fun in there and they're gonna probably breed. Then we're gonna have tetra babies everywhere. I'm sure we caught some sword tails and like platys, but it's so hard to tell because all these freaking mosquito fish. Like, what is this? Right here, that is not a mosquito fish right there. That looks like what's, that, that looks like the yellow thing, but like bland. Oh, I just caught one of the other, the different colored tetras. Look right there. That's the other tetra. See, they look different to me for sure. They're definitely different. But I don't know if that just means like this one's a male, the others are females, I don't know. There you go, buddy. Oh my God, I caught him. Maybe? Look, I see blue on him. Oh, that's so sick. Finally, Jesus, dude, these fish are hard to catch. Oh my gosh, this is the yellow looking thing. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, that looks like a uh, Achille fish, but like I've never seen one so yellow. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, we're putting you in the bucket. We're keeping you for sure. That looks like a Achille fish, but like really cool looking. Oh, there's a Playco. Come here. You're coming with me. Look at this, guys. This was the big fish in there. He actually is really pretty. I think it's a Warmouth. Whoa, look at that. Purple and green. Oh, there he goes. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Dude, that's like a rainbow right there. That is a rainbow fish. Look, red. Oh my gosh. There's red, there's orange, there's yellow, there's green, there's blue, purple. Holy crap. That is the most pre Oh, I just, re I just let him go. I just realized I let him go. What am I doing? I just let him go. I should have kept that. Come here. Gotcha. Oh, I got a Playco. 
Okay. Oh, there's a catfish in the net too. That looks like a little bullhead. We'll keep you. How many did we freaking catch, dude? Look at how small they are. They're so cute. Cause it's like, I guess it's spawning season for the Placos. Cause I've been catching so many babies. The, all the fish look the same. They're the same color. This is impossible. I might just let them all go, bro. I don't really care. I, I'm done at this point, bro. This is torture. I'm just doing this. Ring around the rosy for 30 minutes. There's just too many fish to go through them all. So I'm just gonna go like this, net them all and toss them back. There's some crawfish in here. We're gonna leave. Actually, we could feed these to the fish. In a different video, I had some crawfish in a trap and I was like, oh, we can let them go. And then, and then, and then it cuts to me saying, oh wait, we can feed them to the fish. And someone, someone thought that was funny. So we're gonna do that again. I'm sorry guys, but you're, you're fish food today. All right, I will see you guys when the tank's empty. We're gonna head back to my house and uh, find out where to put all these, these cool fish. Also these crabs. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these, like where I can keep them, but I'm keeping them. I mean, they're the coolest thing ever. Oh yeah, it looks like we just beat the rain, guys. Thank God I went a little bit early and checked the trap. So I got the biggest smile on my face right now. Thank you guys, seriously. Thank you for watching the videos because it gives me an excuse to go out and do this and, and have this much fun um, catching these really cool fish. All right, everyone get out. Get out right now. How are we doing? Oh, they look so happy. They are so excited. Look at them. Look at them. They can't contain themselves. The cool thing about this new spot is like a lot of the fish are like kind of community fish. I think tetras are like community fish. Like fish that won't attack other fish, if you get what I'm saying. And that's really interesting because like a lot of the other spots where I catch aquarium fish, a lot of them are like cichlids, like aggressive fish. And you don't really find these types of fish in those areas because those cichlids will just eat them. There's the first one going in. I believe that's some sort of killifish. You guys got to let me know what kind. There he goes. Oh my God, he's actually so gorgeous. Look at that freaking green tail. Look at that. Oh my God, he's so pretty. Oh, oh, there we go. There's a Tetra. There's two Tetras. Okay. Okay, there's two. There's, see, they're definitely different. They're 100% different. All right, go be free. There goes one. Here's the red one. I have no idea what, what these guys are called, like the species name. There you go. Oh, they're so pretty. Dude, we gotta go catch more. Get like a school of a hundred in here. That would be freaking nuts. Wow, look at those, dude. This is so sick. Oh my gosh, this is so cool, guys. Uh, there's Bruce, there he is. I've been talking about it for so long. I've never even show you guys. Look at him. He's in the pot sleeping. He's so funny. I think this is five or six. I don't even know. Look at that. These guys are small too. I think they get a lot bigger than that. I don't know what to do with you, buddy. You know what? I probably could just leave them in a bucket until you guys tell me what to do with them. There we go. I just like tossing the little baby Placos in here and let them grow out. Um, there's a bunch in here already that are like a foot long from when I just tossed in babies. So this is like the little grow out for the Placos. Look at that. It's so tiny. There he goes. And last one. There he goes. Let's go feed these crawfish to the fish. Ow, crab let go. Who is hungry? Oh, you're hungry, aren't you? Oh yeah. But give you guys a little snack. There you go, Brandy. Boom, Boom gone. Look how big Banner's getting. Banner's getting freaking huge. He's the size of my hand now. Come on, come up to my hand, show him. He's the size of my hand. Hey, Bruce, Desi and Lucy, they're both doing really good. But uh, yeah, guys, that'll do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, go down there, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna need help identifying like all those. Oh my God, the video's not over. Look, look who it is. Hi, Mooney. This is our new cat, Mooney. Hi, Mooney. He's a good boy. He was a stray we rescued. He's the little welcome wagon. Like I was saying, we need help identifying a lot of fish today. If any of you guys are like fish experts, let me know. Also, let me know about the crabs, dude. So much, so much for you guys to let me know. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.